know, one of the saddest things that I've been seeing and I've been hearing about, and when I say sad, I'm not talking about the sad as in being emotionally down and out. No, I'm not talking about that. I mean, I mean sad as in pathetic. One of the saddest things that I've been hearing about is the person, the offender in a failed relationship, right? The narcissist in a failed relationship. The one who walks away, the one who pulls the plug prematurely, the one who creates a false narrative and attempts to destroy their former partner's name and reputation and tries to destroy that person's life. The saddest thing that I hear is them walking away from a relationship and thinking that there's greater out there in those streets only to get in those streets and get humbled. <laughs> That's woo. Yes. You talking about karma at its finest is a person who thought so highly of themselves. A person who thought that they were go, they were rushing out that door, they were rushing out of that relationship thinking that they was all this and all that, and they got this to offer, and they serving this to the table, only to get out there in those streets and get your face cracked. Because one thing I know for sure is you cannot do wrong by people. You cannot shit on people for too long and not get your just desserts. And what's so sad about it? is the type of people that I am describing will go out there, get their face cracked, get humbled, okay, and never get what they were actually looking for, which is authentic love, a real relationship, longevity, and that commitment that they walked away from. They'll never get that again. You see, what they get is bitter. They get bitter because life moves on after them. The person that you shitted on more than likely more than likely will learn their lesson in whatever role they played in that failed relationship and they will eventually level up. While the person who was the offender, the narcissist, the evildoer, okay, will still sit, will sit in anger, will sit in bitterness and continue to double down on their shitty treatment of a partner that they walked away from. It is the saddest thing I have ever seen. And if you know a person like that, do yourself a favor, disconnect from said person, because if they did it over here, they'll do it over there. And no one is exempt from a shitty person and a person's shitty behavior and track record. There is nothing more dangerous than a person that thinks more of themselves than what they really are. And they have been humbled, okay? They have been humbled and had their face cracked, and they are forced to look at what they really are what they really mean to these streets and how the world really views them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Don't hate me.